good day everyone this is mom adoko and for our tutorial today we will continue with our topic analysis and interpretation of financial statements um, with our first video we have learned that horizontal analysis is a technique for evaluating a series of financial statement data over a period of time and the purpose of horizontal analysis is to determine the increase or decrease that has taken place and now we go to the vertical analysis vertical analysis is the preparation of common size financial statements so another term for vertical analysis is common size financial statement so vertical analysis is a technique that expresses each financial statement line item as percentage of a base amount and common size financial statements are financial statements that shows only percentages and no absolute peso dollar or any currency amount the common size statement of comprehensive income will report the revenue and expense amount as the percentage of sales or net sales while the common size statement of financial position will report each asset liability and the owner's equity amount as percentage of total assets so take note for the common size statement of comprehensive income the base amount will be the sales or net sales while for the common size statement of financial position the base amount will be the total assets common size statements allows analysts to compare companies of different sizes in different industries or across time common size financial statements allows you to compare the financial statements of large companies with the financial statements of small companies because you are comparing percentages instead of peso or dollars like for example a small retailer can compare the cost of goods sold which is 78 percent to a much larger retailer's cost of goods sold of 80 percent or another example let's say one company's inventory might be 33 percent of total assets while uh, competitors might be 28 percent so now from the examples that i have given which company is efficient in their operation the small retailer that has a cost of goods sold of 78% of total sales or the larger retailer which has a cost of goods sold of 80% of total sales and before I will or we will answer the questions I would like to refresh your mind what is cost of goods sold so cost of goods sold are direct cost of producing the goods sold by a company so this amount includes the cost of the material and labor directly used to create the goods cost of goods sold is deducted from the revenues to calculate the gross profit and gross margin and higher cost of goods sold results in lower margin okay so which one of the two companies is efficient the small retailer or the larger retailer so the small retailer based on the common size financial statements is 
efficient in their operation because they had only 78% of cost of goods sold. Compared to the larger retailer that has 80% of cost of goods sold. Between the company that has an inventory of 33% of total assets and the competitor that has a inventory of 28% of total assets. So which one is better in managing their inventories? And the answer is the competitor because they had only 28% of inventory compared to the company that has 33%. Possessing a high percentage of inventory is not advantageous for a business because of storage cost, spoilage cost, and the threat of obsolescence. I have here an example on how to perform vertical analysis or common size. And this time, we're going to use the statement of financial position and the base amount will be the total assets since it is a statement of financial position and we're going to go through line by line okay so the first line account is the cash the cash is 200,000 pesos divided by the total assets of 1,400,000 pesos so the percentage of assets is 14.3 percent and then the next line account is the accounts receivable 400,000 pesos divided by 1,400,000 so the percentage of assets is 28.6 percent then the next is the inventory 250,000 pesos divided by 1,400,000 which is the total assets so the percentage of assets is 17.9 percent and then the next line account is the equipment which is 550,000 pesos divided by 1,400,000 pesos so the percentage of assets is 39.3%. Then uh, we get the sum of the components of cash, accounts receivable, inventory, equipment. So the total percentage is 100%. And then we go to the liabilities and the equities. Still the base amount will be the total assets. Account payable is 300,000 pesos divided by 1,400,000. So the percentage of assets is 21.4%. And then the notes payable, 400,000 pesos divided by 1,400,000 pesos. So the percentage of assets is 28.6%. And then the owner capital. 700,000 pesos divided by 1,400,000 pesos. So the percentage of assets is 50%. So the sum of the components of liabilities and equities is 100%. Okay, so how are we going to evaluate or analyze? Then based on our vertical analysis, the largest component of asset is the equipment at 39.3%. And then the smallest component is the cash at 14%. And then we can also see that 50% of assets are financed by debt and the other half is financed by equity so which assets are those the inventory and the equipment so the inventory and the equipment are financed by debt which is the accounts payable and the notes payable and the other half 
is financed by the owner. I have also an example on how to perform vertical analysis or common size for statement of comprehensive income. A common size statement of comprehensive income expresses each line as a percentage of sales. So the base amount will be the net sales. This way, we can see how sales is used up by various expenses. And effectively, net income is the portion of sales not eaten by expenses. Okay, so net sales here based on our example is 900,000. And then the next line account is the cost of goods sold which is 400,000 divided by the base amount of 900,000. So the percentage of sales is 44.4%. And then the next line account is the gross profit, 500,000 divided by, by 900,000. So the percentage of sales is 55.5%. And then the next line account is the operating expense expenses, which is 200,000 pesos divided by, by the base amount of net sales, which is 900,000 pesos. So the percentage of sales is 22.2%. And then the net income, which is 300,000 pesos divided by by the base amount of 900,000 so the percentage of sales is 33.3% okay so how how are we going to analyze so the cost of goods sold is 44% of sales and then the company has a gross profit rate of 55.5% and our operating expense is 22% at of sales. And then we can see here that the company earns income of 33 cents for every peso of sales. And then the gross profit generated for every peso up sales is 55 cents. The use of common size financial statements allows the comparisons of two companies of different sizes. This is because the statement of financial positions and the statement of common comprehensive income comparative informations are standardized as a percentage of assets and sales respectively.